Can you just tell us the very latest you have on Dan Sheen, please? Uh, he's good. Yeah, he's uh, he's got a, a sprain a sprain in his uh, in, in his foot, in a ligament in his foot. Um, better to be expected. We expect him to be um, fit for for the World Cup. Sorry, you just dropped off there at the, at the last second, Andy. Um, a sprain in the foot. I mean, that can be. That that can take quite some time to heal. No, it, no. I'll, I'll say it again to repeat it. Um, a sprain his foot. Better to be, better than expected. Should be fit for the World Cup. Absolutely, oh, that's great. So you yeah. could all going well. He'll be fit for selection for Romania next week. We'll see how he progresses over the, over the coming weeks. But as I, as I said, with all injuries, with all injuries, you, you see how they develop over over the period of time, don't you? So, uh, but we expect him to be fit for the World Cup. What's your message to the players, uh, the likes of uh, Tom Stewart and Stuart McCluskey, McCluskey tomorrow? What's your specific message to players like that who are, are, are fighting very hard to, to get a place on the plane? Uh, there's no message. There's no message. The, the messages have been over the last 10 weeks of how we prepare to be the best team that you possibly can be. How you uh, adjust and adapt to that is, 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 is the pressures of playing top, top level rugby. So they've... They, they, they know that and they'll, they'll push forward with that in mind. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Andy. Best of luck. Thanks. Pat, Patrick McCarry. Hey, Andy. How's it going? Great, thank you. It's good. Getting used to this, getting used to this again. Um, listen, we, I just wanted to ask you two questions. Um, we're all debating. Uh, I'm sure the debate's going on yourselves, but our big one is the, the, the 1914 split or the 1815 split. Is that keeping you up at night as well? Like the idea of like, and I know it's always that when it gets down to the kind of final calls, you know, how tough no, is that? No, not really. Kind of no, we're, we're, we're pretty, pretty clear on that. Uh, um, but having said that, you know, there's, there's a few more days, isn't there, for moving parts, etc. cetera. So um, we'll, we'll adapt to that. But we've been pretty clear from the start of, of, of what we want. Because it's all different with different personnel and different teams, you know. You've got to do what, what's right to fit your group. Um, and then I wanted to ask you, just like like we won't have seen Lane Ronan Callagher playing. Like uh, you, you spoke at the weekend saying you're not too worried about him. Are you still in that position with him? And then just wanted to kind of ask you as well about Stockdale and, and Frawley because they're not involved. Are they still in the mix as well? Well, we haven't selected the squad yet, so everyone's still in the mix. There's a uh, there's a, a good few days to go in, in, in that regard. But um, as far as uh, Ronan's concerned, he's 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 he's. He's doing great. He's, he's flying around the place at this moment in time. Uh, this week, you know, if it was at a push for, for him to say it was a, a World Cup semi-final, a World Cup final, I'm sure that we could have got him over the line this week, but there's no need to do that. So he's, um, he's, uh, he's in good spirits. All right. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. Thanks, Pat. Uh, Matthew? Hi, Andy. How's it going? Great, thanks. Just wanted to ask you one about uh, Tom Stewart. Obviously, it's a big step up for him being his first start. What have you liked from what you've seen from so far, and what are you expecting on Saturday? Um, I like everything. Uh, I, I, well, I certainly like most things. What I've seen, I've seen a, a determined young man that's willing to um, try to understand first and foremost of what it takes to. to to thrive in a, an international environment, and it's tough for, for a young kid coming in, especially in, the, in that in that type of position. But he, he's certainly done that. He's um, he's a determined kid that quietly goes about his job, but he um, he certainly puts a lot of confidence in uh, in, in into the coaching staff and the rest of his teammates by the way that he prepares, etc. So, hoping that transfers. Um, I suppose that's the main thing. Uh, just being himself at the weekend, you know, because he's uh, he's a good player. Just a quick one on Samoa. I think you've, you've described elements of the performances against Italy and England as clunky. Were the sort of areas you, you want to to see improvement uh, on Saturday night? Well, I think we got better. In, 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 certainly in the second game, um, uh, scored some fantastic tries. Consistency, isn't it? You know, that's what that's why we're playing the warm-up games to make sure that we get a bit of the rust out, etc., and show some pictures to one another what's acceptable and what's not. So. We're here to to take a step forward in in, in our development as a team. Thanks, thanks, Alan. Cheers, thanks. Thanks, Matthew. Derek Foley. 
on, hi Andy. Um, I'm just assuming that not everybody gets fit at the same rate. So some people are behind and some people are forward. So could I specifically ask you about Tyg Bourne? Um, you've selected him to play. Um, is he a little bit behind? I just noticed he didn't touch the ball for 60 minutes. And I will say he was defensively brilliant last week. He was, but yeah. He didn't. He actually didn't touch the ball for a long, long time. Is is Tyg a little bit behind, and that's why he's there? Or what's no, the, what's no, the he's definitely not behind. He's had a fantastic preseason. Um, if Tyg didn't get the ball, or or he looked like he's behind to you, it, there must be good reason for that. Um, as in, because when I watched the video back, he was always in position. So maybe some somebody didn't give him the ball, Derek. But he's. Uh, He's in fine form. He's he's grown massively as a leader within the group this summer, um, and uh, he's in the side this this week because there's always a blend, isn't there, between experience and and, and helping people out who, who's 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 been given a chance, etc. And he would want to be one of those leaders that's in that type of bracket. Okay, that's great. Thanks very much. Thanks, thanks, Derek. Derek. Uh, there don't appear to be any more questions from the online uh, newspaper section, so thanks everyone for joining us from home. Just Can to I reiterate... Just put one, Peter? Pardon? Peter, is there one chance? Yeah. Just a um, quick one, Andy. Just about um, how pleased were you with Tyg Furlong? I know for the last while that he had problems with the ankle, calf, and then in the Champions Cup final, you know, he didn't train the day before, and then he, he, did, he just lasted into the second half. Was that a relief on any level to get him through, like, 57 very tough minutes against... England. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of minutes in comparison to what he's done over the last six months. He um, he he was minding his uh, injuries coming into camp, and and uh, we slowly built him into pre-season, etc. And since he's got back with us, uh, full-time basis, he's he's never missed a beat. So keeping him going after the Italy game into the England into, into the England game and getting so many minutes out of him was. Uh, was fantastic for us all. Okay, thanks for having Derek, I need to wrap it up, Derek. Just one quick one. What do you make of their co-captain, Michael Ala Ala Toa? Um, he's, he's at Leinster, he's done well, he's settled in very well and, and, and improved, if you like. He settled in very well, what? At Leinster. Oh, he's been fantastic, yeah. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a great player. And... Uh, you know, captain in the side, etc. It was Samoa says everything about him. You know that the the type of uh, professional that he is and the respect that he's got from his peers, and that's what I hear from 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 the Leinster boys. Uh, also, you know, he's a he's a, a great player with a lot of experience.